Today's video from Sam Foresso, we're taking a look at how to make cash declaration compulsory. So if you've seen my previous video, I demonstrated how to perform the cash declaration procedure. It's relatively straightforward and it's whereby you count the money in the drawer, tell the till how much cash you've actually got before running your end of day Z report. In this video I'm going to demonstrate how you can make that compulsory. So the first thing you need to do is to go into the programming mode. You can do this in a couple of ways by pressing the mode button repeatedly until you get a P on the display or you can simply press 6 and then mode here. The P comes up so we know we're in the program mode and then we need to type in the system option 30 subtotal so that's free zero followed by subtotal that takes us into the system option programming we then type in the address the line address which is one free and then we press the X time button here and then we enter one because that's the setting we want followed by subtotal and cash all this information is in the manual I've got it from the system option programming settings of the ER 180. Um, if I just quickly show you, your, it might be on a different page to what I've got, but there's a flow chart here, system option programming. We've gone 30 subtotal, and then we've got that question number there, basically means the line number on the chart on the following page. So we went for line 13 and option one for cash declaration required before Z financial report. So that's where we inputted the one. Then we went subtotal and cash. You get a little printout confirming what you've done. So that's at the bottom of an end of day report. But we've got system option 13 is now set to 1 because 0 is the default. Now if we go back to the register mode, pop in a sale, just so we've got a sale live in the till. And if we go to Z mode to run our end of day report, so reset on the display, I'm expecting this to error. Yeah, we get the error message E15 because we haven't performed the cash declaration. So the procedure then would be to press clear to get rid of the error message. You would then go back to the reg mode. You would open the till by pressing no sale. You would physically count the cash in the drawer and then you would go on to the uh, read mode or X mode, you would type in 90 subtotal, you would then enter that cash, so let's say one pound, and then you would press the cash button because it was cash you've counted, and then cash to confirm, and that has performed the cash declaration which would enable you to run your end of day Z report. If you ever want to turn that function off, it's the same process but with zero. So you would go back to the P position, you would type in free zero subtotal because it's a system option. You would type in 13 because it's line 13 followed by X time. And then instead of one, you would press zero and you would press subtotal and cash. You get system option 13 has now been reset to zero. So again, I'll just prove the point. If you put another sale in now, your end of day report will now automatically run because you've disabled the um, compulsory cash declaration. Okay, I hope that video has been helpful. We've got plenty more videos showing you how to get the best out of your ER180. Some of those videos will be appearing on screen now, so you're welcome to check those out. You can also subscribe to this YouTube channel or visit samforshelp.co.uk for more. Thanks for watching.